Hey, it's a gorgeous day along the Chicago River. I'm with my buddy, Nathan, and uh, we're scouting out locations to look for old bottles and other treasures uh, in preparation uh, for Nicola White, who's coming over from jolly old England and is gonna uh, make some videos and, and see if she can find some Chicago treasures. You can check out Nicola's channel, Tideline Art, on YouTube and TikTok, I believe. And uh, she uh, likes to mudlark the Thames. We don't have the Thames here, but we do have the Chicago River. That is not always without its charm. I mean, look at it. So I'm taking Nathan to a bunch of my haunts. A lot of them have been picked clean though. So we're hoping to find some new spots today. So far poking around today, I found this green bit of tile with, looks like a seashell, but I like the crackling pattern on that. This will this will go on my shelf of treasures. Nathan, tell me what you got there. I found a uh, medicine bottle. Um, it's called uh, Castoria. It's either Castoria or Gastoria. So it's probably uh, some sort of uh, stomach or uh, old remedy. Looks like it was a cork top. Cool. There's some script here that we haven't been able to make out on the other edge. Fire reveals its secret. <laughs> One issue we're running into is that the water level of the river is quite high right now. We're hoping it drops uh, by the time our friend arrives because uh, that'll make it a lot easier to find things. Forgot to mention that I also picked out this little bit of pottery with a bluebird on it that I'm gonna keep top pocket find. So Nathan, you and I used to live together, but uh, tell us a little bit about yourself for the people at home. Um, yeah, in my spare time, uh, sometimes with my friend Bryce, I like to go. That's, to that's me. <laughs> uh, just look for uh, old cool stuff and uh, get out in nature a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's fun to learn about local history and find some old garbage. I used to do it as a kid too, it's, so it reminds me of my youth uh, along the river in Des Plaines growing up in Berwyn. Yeah. We both have bonded over liking to find things, and so we're hoping to find things together. This looks like it might be part of an old oven or something. If you know what this is, let us know in the comments. Nathan's found some kind of Leatherman. Got the pliers on there. Yeah, that's nice. Looks like it used to have a flashlight or something, we're not sure. Uh, it looks like a Virgin Mary, maybe? Oh yeah, there's a cross. Oh, it's a rosary. Oh, cool. It's the end of a rosary. That's really neat. Oh, this is creepy. Hello! Hello! Oh, I can actually see myself. Hey! Focus. Hi! The good thing about these jeans is they're already ripped in the crotch. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm hoping to rip mine today. So I thought I found a little treasure box, but I spun the little lid there and there's a little one hitter. That's not a cigarette, that's actually <laughs> a little pipe. So uh, I won't be taking that today. We're in a tried and true area for finding old pieces of glass. I've never been able to find anything whole here, but maybe today that changes. It's technically still winter, but the snakes are out. Look at that thing. Nathan just found this Superman. He ain't, he ain't flying no more. I think he encountered some kryptonite by the looks of him. Oh yeah, it's moss growing on a piece of rope. That's cool. Another old milk top. Where's your hole, friends? Show me your hole. I mean, uh, we're exploring along uh, a rail trail right now, still looking for bottles. And uh, there's a couple of geocaches I haven't found along here. And I was like, oh, two birds, one stone. But then I didn't have a pen. The one time I don't have a pen because I was focused on bottles. Oh, what a fool am I. That's all right, we'll stay focused, we'll stay focused. We're in an interesting industrial debris field here. Nathan's making garbage art. The question is, will either of us find anything else today? Found an oldest jar, no embossing. Here's another bottle. Oh, that's new. So far today, we found a turtle shell and a raccoon skull. Uh, I used to, <laughs> uh, a year or two ago, maybe three years ago, I would have taken this home. But uh, now that I live with a lady who does not like dead things in the apartment, I will not. But you, you have no excuse. You should take that. No, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Nathan just found this milk glass jar. 
uh, and it says mentholatum on the back. Uh, this was probably some kind of cosmetic with uh, menthol in it, if I had to guess. I'm gonna hold on to this one. Tosh it. Ah! <laughs> if I had a dime for all the milk tops we found today, show me the bottle, baby. I just accidentally stepped on this fluorescent tube. And uh, if you've never done that, they make a loud explosion or implosion, I should say, popping. It scared the crap out of me. But I still have both my legs, so we're gonna keep going. Well, after a long day of treasure hunting, we are going to uh, make our way to the subway in the distance. It is our destiny. Well, Nathan, we didn't find a ton, but did you have fun today? Yeah. Even though you had to carry uh, 20 pounds of boots in your bag that we didn't use? <laughs> yeah, it worked out. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time, everybody. Cheers.